morning, how are you doing? I'm doing okay. I have just been tearing up, like fully welling slash blubbering at the uh, proposal video from the Adele concert. It was so emotional. I felt like I was on a little roller coaster, but so funny, so cute, and so emotional all at the same time. So I have just finished doing my makeup. I went for something kind of minimal today. I've tried this new thing. Um, again, I actually made a mistake last week with my makeup and uh, it worked out really well. So I've repeated the mistake again and I think it's cute. I need some better light. This light is actually slightly blinding. But basically I put on too much blush and then I went over the blush with my foundation brush which has leftover like remnants of YSL Touche Eclat on it. And it actually gives the most gorgeous finish. So I tried it again today. Let me see if I can show you. Yeah, I just think it makes it look very seamless. I'm not really the best person at applying blush. I also don't think the MAC blushes, like I love them, I live for them, but I don't get the best blend maybe i'm not using the right brush in combination with it but um i don't get the best blend from them but this actually makes the shade that i use um, which is desert rose blend so beautifully so a little tip if you find you go overboard with your blush or you just are wanting like a smoother finish smoother finish i think anyway i mean i'll probably edit this back and be like no it looks terrible never doing that again but yeah really like the finish that it does give over my cheeks and then i've just got like minimal product on my eyes yeah. and then the rest of my makeup as usual i'm yet to do my hair i don't know what to do with it today still toying over getting bangs cut in guys should i get a little fringy bang thing going on i feel like it might be almost long enough let me know what you think like something like this so what do we think shorter bangs longer bangs something maybe something like that let me know basically i just feel like it does need a little bit of shaping because it is getting so long now but it's very very healthy so shiny so shiny very happy with it so this week i have a lot on uh lots of it very kind of like last minute tbc still waiting for the go ahead on a lot of my plans for the week so today i'm going to be mostly organizing prepping starting a few projects i'm mainly just at home so i thought we could kind of like chill together i think i've got a few bits that should be arriving today so i will show you those um but yeah real nice like at home chill vibes this week or this vlog should i say because i think i might go to london tomorrow i'm really not sure but that's that's a whole different video <music> people i'm really excited to show you what i got literally just went out to run one errand just one of my errands and miss the postman but before i show you my deliveries i need some lunch uh, i've actually spent the majority of the morning sat at my desk it's that time of year like spring summer early autumn i never use the office i just don't really sit down at a desk but this is that time of year where it's very email heavy so I literally have been sat at my desk for so long now and I need to make my lunch before I have my work call. I'm thinking toast, nothing fancy. My kitchen is such a mess at the moment. I actually, if Ryan and I live together, I can't even envision how messy this kitchen is just gonna be all the time. It makes me a little bit sad. I'm either gonna have to let go or be really neurotic about the whole thing. Just wanted to say thank you for all of your lovely feedback on Vlogmas. Um, are we a bit bright? I feel like I'm a bit bright better i've had so many comments on it and i'm still a little bit unsure i'm kind of just like looking at it and seeing if it's possible what i would be happy to commit to all of that so i'm not committing to anything just yet um but i just wanted to say thank you for all of the lovely comments on it um even those of you that said like you literally would just happily listen to me waffle and that i don't have to say anything of value and i totally get that but sometimes i actually just don't really have anything to say like i genuinely am like i have no chat to be honest most days i actually feel like i have no chat which i feel like must be surprising to so many of you because that's pretty much all i do in the videos and people that are new to these videos are like this girl talks a lot but yeah for the most part i ha ryan hurley why is there an why where why is the end disappeared that's not gonna stay fresh mm. 
But my point being, I know it might be surprising that I most of the time don't have anything to say um, because I talk so much on here, but that is actually something that I really struggle with. I miss the old days of YouTube where I think my first ever Vlogmas, I didn't talk through it. It was just literally a montage of Christmas and uh, it was much easier. But anyway, I just wanted to say thanks. Uh, I'm gonna make my toast now, have my call. And then after my call, I'm meant to be going to the gym. Let me tell you, all I want to do is snuggle up on the sofa and watch The Crown. I've watched it several times before, but I really enjoy binge watching things. And that is my current favorite thing to binge watch. I think because it is a little bit slow. So it's just like a really chill, binge watchable TV show. That is all I want to do right now. Literally, if you could ask me what my perfect day is, it's like sitting with like nice snacks, hot drinks and The Crown. This is why, this is why Vlogmas is hard because I just like sitting watching TV. Oh God. I wonder if at the end of my life I'll question whether binge watching so much Netflix was a good idea. <laughs> So I may have gone a little overboard with my lunch. It's turned from toast into cheesy mushrooms on toast. Uh, I've got some Applewood vegan cheese, Tesco free from uh, garlic and herb soft cheese because that is insane. Just a little scoop of that in there. Mm. I've added a little bit of this, just a tiny bit. We don't want to go overboard. A little bit of this. The, well, a lot of this. I love pepper. It is the best. Also, hands up how many of you are judging me for how non-toasted my toast is. <laughs> it's so thick as well. It's basically still bread. Delicious. Mushrooms are just my favorite ever. made it to the gym this afternoon i've been promising myself since this morning that i was going to go i didn't go with ryan and that was i thought it was going to be game over then and i thought it would be game over after lunch if i'm honest as well because i feel tired but i'm just gonna go in there just for a little bit my rule is even if i like drive here and step into the gym that's good enough but obviously you never do that you always actually get into the gym and get on something I trick myself into coming here basically but yeah it is basically dark i forget when the clocks go back at this time of year how dark it gets so quickly and my vlogging hours in the day are basically numbered um so i'm going to take you through everything that got delivered today tomorrow which actually worked out better because something else arrived this afternoon yeah aim of the game now is just to get on the step machine um honest to god this car is annoying me so much it's been sat here for ages and i've been waiting for it to stop making this noise by the way everything that i'm wearing this week is coming up for what i wore in a week so if you are like wondering about things they'll obviously be linked in this but i'm not showing you full outfits until the what i wore in a week so keep your eyes peeled for that that should be up on thursday fingers crossed if i get my shits together um but yeah aim the game like i said get in the gym then go to ryan's that lovely lovely man is cooking me dinner i need to actually stop procrastinating and uh, go into the gym. Okay, let's go. I've also just realized that I have toothpaste on my jumper. It's really embarrassing. This jumper is not only in this video, but it's also in the next one. <laughs> Did it. I'm proud of myself. So I'm just editing the vlog and this looks really weird behind me. Ryan's stuff is set up in his living room. Uh, but we have just been watching through and we have some we have an update on Breadgate. <laughs> I'm trying to blame it on me. So I chopped an end off 
last night when the bread was like a whole loaf of bread ryan didn't realize that an end had already been chopped off so he then started chopping up the other side of bread so he would like for me to retract <laughs> me telling him off Nothing's he was like funny. you need to put some, you need to put some text over this good morning everybody i've come to the conclusion that i might be getting old you know i've woken up this morning and all of my joints but like weird joints like finger joints and like toes feel really swollen so i'm not feeling so fab today but we're gonna roll with it your girl is also feeling a little bit stressed you know when you try and be your most organized and then someone else throws in a oh by the way and you're like i didn't plan for this i didn't i've tried my best to be my most organized and i didn't plan for this so i now need to figure out how i'm meant to be doing this and it's just a lot and why am i not in focus i dropped my camera the other day right it's saying that it recognizes my face, but it's not recognizing my face. I fully like dropped the camera, like the screen has cracked. I think I'm gonna need a new vlogging camera, sad times, because this one probably lasted like the best out of all of them. Granted, it saw me through lockdown, so that's why. I actually dropped it twice in a 24 hour time period. It always is the way. Um, so if we are a little bit ropey from now on, that's why, yeah, please focus on me. Thank you. So apart from my stress, this morning I'm taking five to sit with you and unbox a lot of things. But then I need to go out and get some food because you guys are hungry today. Like I am so hungry. I think it's that time of year where you just really feel super, super hungry all the time because it's chilly. So yeah, I have things to unbox with you. So I'm gonna set you up and we'll get cracking. Okay, so I've lost an attachment for my tripod. So we're using the backup tripod that I don't like as much, but it's fine. It's fine. Honestly, if you see a girl crying in the vegan chocolate section of Sainsbury's and just buying an obscene amount of chocolate later, uh, what will have been last week for you guys? Just know that it was me and I just need this time to be slightly over dramatic and, you know, just let me live. Anyway, uh, oh wow, this has fluff all over it. That's what you get for deciding to change your jumper at the last dying second. You know when you just feel like a day just isn't really going your way? That's kind of how I feel today. Anyway, I've got fun things to show you. So we've got a little bit of mango, got a little something from Astrid and Miu, which I'm really excited about. And then we have something from Farfetch. Okay, so firstly, the mango box is deceptive because I actually haven't done the biggest mango order, even though the box is absolutely ginormous there is a coat that i have had my eye on for so long i'm really excited to get your guys thoughts it's come up for me on the website so many times and i just think it is gorgeous it is quite pricey though for mango uh, for the price point that i'd usually buy out it is quite an expensive coat i obviously don't shop on there a ton but it is just beyond beautiful so i'm so excited to show it to you this is the coat it is the most gorgeous like brownie khaki tone like definitely a khaki or khaki however you want to say it god my hair is really not playing my game today um i am due a hair wash i have no idea when i'm actually gonna have time for that i haven't factored that into my schedule this week at all um so it could be beanies from here on out which is slightly concerning for me <laughs> that doesn't quite work with any of my plans for the week but anyway it's all fine it's all fine but yeah, I picked up this gorgeous khaki coat. It has like a tie waist, like double breasted kind of vibes. It's lined in this lovely, like kind of browny, grayy tone. Really, really gorgeous. The quality feels amazing. It was quite expensive. It was, I got this in a size small and it was, it doesn't say how much it was. That's useful. I'll link it for you guys. It will be in the info box below. Yeah, so excited to try this on with you. I have a feeling it's gonna be a bit long. Hopefully that won't really matter so much or if it does I might just get it taken up because I really really love it So very excited to try that on then I picked up some bits from Astrid and Me who now do reduced packaging And I am so happy about that. So you literally just get these little pouches. They're in like a kind of like natural linen kind of feel okay so they now do um their kind of like piercing jewelry this is gonna be so hard to show you they do their piercing jewelry but in like a real solid gold now so you don't have to be particularly they'll obviously tell you you still need to be precious with it and like don't get it wet and stuff like that but it obviously is different to when it is plated i'd like to over time maybe purchase a few more of these but i thought i'd just start off 
with this little one. I just thought it was so beautiful. I was thinking I could put it in. It's a similar shape to the one that I have in my piercing up here. Um, I'll see how I get on with it. It's just so beautiful, so sparkly. Um, and really, really love that they are doing that with their piercing jewelry now because I do prefer to have like a solid gold, rose gold, whatever kind of metal. I prefer for it to be solid rather than plated because like I said, you you do need to look after them, but you can be a little bit less precious with them. They, I mean, I can't even work out where the opening to this box is, so that's good. Okay. I think one of the worst things that's ever happened to my bank account is Farfetch. They have the best stock. The best stock. So, you know how when I really love something, I tend to buy it in twos? Well, so these are the black version of my Fendi boots, but without their like traditional monogramming. This actually has a tiny amount of monogramming on, but it's their like newer swirly logo and you wouldn't really know from afar that that's what it is. And it kind of almost looks like a slight lacy pattern. My monogrammed Farfetch boots are so comfortable and I really wanted just a plain pair of black boots. I've been looking everywhere for a pair of just plain black boots, but that are the same height on the leg as my Farfetch monogram boots because they just hit a really flattering point on my leg. I was looking at others that were a fraction lower, but all of them seem to be way more chunky around the base of the boot, which I know is very uh, trendy at the moment, but I don't love that in terms of like longevity. And with certain brands, I haven't worn boots from them before. I don't know how comfortable they're gonna be, whereas I knew how comfortable these would be and I've been loving wearing them so much recently. So these ones also have a zip on the side, so real easy access, which I love. Um, I'm hoping that they are going to be just as comfortable as the monogram in brown. I'm gonna show you the coat now, let's pray I like it because otherwise I will be retiring to bed for the day in my boots. Oh yes, love these. I've just spent ages sorting the laces out, so I'm glad I do love them. Um, but can you see what I mean about where they hit on the leg? Most ankle boots hit at my smallest point, which is around here, and it's just not the most flattering look, whereas these hit right in the middle and cinch everything in. I just think they're so flattering on the leg. They basically work seamlessly into like a skinny jean or a legging, and I just love that and the patterning as i suspected is really minimal from afar really really happy with these they're so comfortable so so comfortable for me i find it really hard to find boots comfortable but these are just perfect i'm hoping they're gonna last really well as well the other pair are doing great so far so so far so good really happy with these um but yeah i am now officially on a boot ban and then we have khaki coat of dreams do we think it's too long though? And also, I'm obviously not a professional, but my brain is telling me I can have this taken up, but I don't actually know if that is true. So if someone could let me know if that is actually possible, that'd be great. Because I think just maybe like two inches off would be absolutely perfect. And I love this coat so much that I would happily have it taken up. I think the quality is great. It will really last well. So yeah. I would be happy to pay a little bit extra to have this taken up and then just have it as a forever coat. It's one of those colors that I just think I will always come back to. It also ties quite nicely at the waist. Like this. So I've obviously done that quite roughly, but yeah, I think it looks really cute tied at the waist. Yeah, I really like it. Can you guys let me know what you think? Do we keep or return? Do I take it up? Do I leave it? Is it fine this length? If you let me know, that would be fab. Thank you.
rough today. <laughs> I don't normally vlog like this. I went out last night and um, I had way too much of a good time. I went out for dinner uh, for my friend's birthday and then we did karaoke. How I even have a voice today is honestly beyond me because I did a lot of singing um, slash screeching, I would call it. Today, we are not looking so fresh. My skin is like so red and irritated. It does this a lot when I am like tired, not feeling great. I've had a night out. It's so blotchy and I feel so disgusting. I obviously don't know how we're gonna like really pull me together today, if I'm honest. But I've done my skincare and I wanted to do a little like minimal makeup scenario because I have to go to my parents to pick Nala up and there's nothing worse when they've already looked after your fur baby for two days and then you turn up and you just look rough and they're like this is my child this is my child I like to you know put up a good front for them and I like to be well presented when I go over there so if I'm not uh dressing the part today I'm definitely gonna at least try and make it look like I I'm not not alive so I'm gonna do like a little minimal makeup like super minimal makeup scenario my skin is really congested I've been wearing makeup like every single day recently my calendar I guess everyone's calendars get like this this time of year it's like work and play and it just is on rotation and there's no downtime I can't remember the last time I didn't wear makeup um so my skin is like very very congested right now um, so I want to go for something light. So yeah, that is the vibes today. I'm going to sort mainly sort out my skin because I just feel like that makes the world of difference. Maybe a tiny bit of concealer because we are dark under the under eyes. And then I'm just going to, I'm definitely going to do brows. Um, that always makes me feel very like, oh, and lips. I always line my lips and it just a tiny bit. So that's what I'm going to do this morning. I'm actually going to be using a couple of products from the Dr. Jart C Capel range. This video contains a paper integrated advertorial with them. And thank you so much to Dr. Jart for working with me. I have been such a long time fan of the brand. If you've watched my channel from like basically the get go, I used to wear the Dr. Jart BB creams. They were everything. I think they still do one of the BB creams. I actually really want to pick it up because that used to be my jam. And um, they really know their stuff when it comes to color correcting skin. And I used to wear my BB cream every day. And because I love that, they sent me the Sika Pear Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. And this is very, very similar. I've been using this a lot and um, just on like no makeup days or days if I need to like turn up to a shoot and I don't want to turn up with just like my red angry skin and it's early that is the vibe but i also keep the seek pair tiger grass calming mist in my fridge this is one of i keep a load of skincare in my fridge this is one of the many items that i keep in my fridge because it just feels so nice it's just so soothing on the skin and honestly it's soothing anyway but put it in your fridge and it just makes the world of difference i'm just gonna is just lovely and if your skin is like dry or dehydrated a mist just is step one at uh helping your skin out when it's not looking its best but also the calming properties of that are just gonna boost it 100 percent. this is like tired sad skin 101 tutorial i feel like it's made a difference already back to the seek pair tiger brass color correcting treatment this is such a fun product. This actually has niacinamide in it, which is an ingredient that you will have heard me bang on about so much because it is in one of my favorite skincare products that really helped to treat my cystic acne. And it's not something that I particularly suffer from too badly anymore. When they do pop up, it has just changed the way that they behave. Niacinamide is honestly just one of those hero skincare ingredients for me. It really helps to clear your skin if there's congestion. Um, I read somewhere that it basically it can treat active blemish but it could also stop them reoccurring. It's almost like antibacterial. Um, it is just magical. And the Seek Pair Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment also has that in. And I just think this is the perfect product for tired skin, but that is also a little bit congested because you're not only like calming your skin and treating like the redness, but you're also treating the congestion as well. And I just love that. So I'm gonna start off with less. Less is more with this product, guys. As you can see, it starts off very green. And it really blends out. You can see the colour starts to change. It looks terrifying at first, but it works so well. And you see this side of my face instantly looks so much calmer. And hopefully the niacinamide in this is just going to work a treat. 
So I've got a few blackheads, which always happens when I've been wearing makeup a lot. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm not wearing any foundation. You can also just build up a tiny amount of coverage if you want. You can go in with like a lighter layer like I did and then build up on more red areas if you have them. So as you can see, I'm just tapping over my cheek because I have a little bit of congestion going on there, which has gotten very red. Yeah, it's just a tiny little bit of redness here too. Honestly, this stuff is just so cool. Like I can't believe it starts off this green and then just like starts to change. Can you see the ready tones coming through? It's amazing, it just really like adapts to your skin. But yeah, less is definitely more with this one. Add a little bit, press it into your skin, layer up if needed, but it is just perfect for a minimal or no makeup makeup kind of day. It's one of those products that's really great because you can use it like a foundation, but it's not quite a foundation and it's not quite skincare. So it's just like one of those perfect hybrid products that does like the good things that skincare does, but whilst giving you a little bit of coverage in the same way that like a tinted moisturizer or BB cream would. It's just so fab. I'm still technically not wearing foundation and that feels good and this comes in a nice big 50 ml tub as well so you get so much for your money i think they also do a smaller tub as well if you wanted to test it out but if you also wanted to test it out and test out a few more things from dr jar and the c compare range they actually have this christmas gift set i actually picked this up the other day for my brother's girlfriend for christmas you'll see that in an upcoming vlog but if you wanted to try out the color correcting treatment also try out the cleanser the repair cream and the repair serum this gift set has it all so i will link to all of those in the info box below if you want to go and check it out just need to do the little finishing touches like sorting out my eyebrows but my skin feels i don't know if you can see i hope you can see my skin not only looks but feels better already like it feels so soothed it was so angry this morning especially i think because of uh my lifestyle at the moment but also like the time of year the heating is blasting the air cons are blasting and my skin is very very sensitive and angry and the seek pair tiger grass range is so good if you have sensitive skin i think it's so good in general but if you have sensitive skin the blend of tiger grass and all the different herbs and minerals that they blend together to make the seeker pair range just really helps to calm your skin if it is sensitive it feels so much better already anyway let's sort out these brows and crack on with the day i have real anxiety i just need to crack on with my day crack on with my to-do list pick my dog up before my mum murders me because i think she's like come get your dog so yeah i've got a lot to do so let's crack on god how many times did i say crack on i'm so sorry i have zero vocab i don't have zero vocab normally but when i'm tired actually zero i actually have my vocab up until the point when you want me to join in with a uh, tiny temper tipsy and karaoke and then every word all the words yeah that's what i discovered last night some concealer under my eyes because they are just so dark there's no helping them apart from a heavy duty concealer i've done my brows a little bit went really overboard with the brows and then backtracked with a cotton bud and now i'm very happy with them i just lined my lips a little bit and added a little bit of lip balm it's like a really nice like apricotty tone but it doesn't come out like that on my lips and then just a tiny bit of mascara as well um just to kind of open up my eyes a bit because i was looking a little bit sleepy honestly though this no makeup makeup vibe is everything i'm just really enjoying it at the moment i'm taking a moment for it because this time last year this was all i could have dreamed of my skin was so bad and i couldn't have even fathomed going like foundation free but i'm loving it it feels really good but yeah, I do need a few more days like this. So if you see me wearing a makeup look that looks like this a lot, just know that this is what is on my skin. It made, it's made my skin look so good. Like, would you know that I'm not wearing foundation? Magic. Is it skincare or is it magic? Who knows? Also guys, look at my new trainers. How cute are they? I really love them. I will link to them if they're still available. I just think they're so cute.
The living room is looking very cozy. We've got my diptyque rose candle on. I've got some flowers in here. The cozy lights are on. Shrimpy is snuggled up over here next to my cozy socks. How are you doing, honey? So yeah, I'm going to get some cozy socks on now and sit and do some editing with this one. dinner isn't for a while. What have we got up here? Vegan Milky Way Magic Stars. Might take that. That looks good. What else? Chocolate reindeer. Yeah, that could be a winner. I bought these for Ryan, but he's not eating them, so I think they're up for grabs. You hungry too? Yeah. Don't worry, I'll get you a dinner in a bit. I really want to try these. Mmm. Maybe. Maybe I'll come back for those. Just gonna go with the reindeer. I don't wanna ruin my dinner. Good morning, everybody. I have already used up three camera batteries and it's not even 11 a.m. This morning has been a busy morning. I am sailing through the to-do list, which is great and literally my only option today because everything has to be done. I was actually up late last night editing this vlog and I really feel like this is the week where nothing has gone right. That vlog is actually so long, like the raw footage is so long and a lot of it is just lots of things in my life really, really not going right. It was not the best vibes this week, but we all have weeks like that and it is what it is, you know, but um, I've done my little no foundation makeup routine today no concealer either because i just can't be bothered i want to let my skin breathe a little bit i might put a little bit of lip balm because i <laughs> need i look like i need it but yeah i'm just gonna let my skin breathe today the zika pad color correcting treatment is so fab like i actually have like quite a lot of redness on my cheeks again it just hasn't really calmed down we all know why i'm literally not going out again until maybe like christmas i am done done that is it from me for this week's vlog i hope you guys have enjoyed it and just enjoyed seeing what i've been up to there's a lot more personalness in this vlog than i feel like there would be usually so let me know if you like that kind of thing i hope you guys will have a lovely week and i will see you guys again on thursday there is a vlog coming on thursday to this week what i will be coming up on thursday it's a long one i've been filming outfits for what feels like an entire month now um so yeah i'm excited i hope you guys are too love you bye